Hello everyone and welcome to QuickSafe TV, your number one source for Skyrim coverage on YouTube. Today I'm going to present to you high quality food and ingredients by Aireto. I hope I pronounced the name correctly, if I didn't I apologize very much. So the mod itself <coughs> is the rework of the original food and ingredients in the game. It's still a work in progress but it's, it has very much so a lot of the things done already. When you go to the to the uh, mod page you will be able to download high quality food ingredients 1.6 cumulative or high co uh, quality food ingredients 1.6 performance repack which will if you're concerned about the um, lags, how, how should I put it, about the performance drop you should download the performance repack. Now there's some pictures, I'm not going to show you all of them, but I'm going to show you two of my favorites. I'm going to show you the update picture 1.6, which you will be able to see on the mod page again. He recently added the dead hares, dead salmons, some fishes, some birds, you see, and the lettuce reworked. It's very, very much so beautiful, and I like the detail on the rabbit, the eye, compared to the, to the original rabbit. It has the nice eyes, right? It, it has the fur, very well done, very beautiful. And the other one, which is probably the pride of this mod, for me at least, the chicken, the texture. You, you cannot imagine, if you didn't have chickens, right, if you didn't work at farm when you was younger, you just, you won't understand. But this looks very much so realistic. So yeah, it's my personal recommendation, just download the chicken, that's enough. Just replace the chicken, you don't need anything else. I'm just kidding with you, just messing with you. Uh, once you download the files, <coughs> I will go ahead and show you what to do with them. I organized it quite a little bit. So we have the high quality food ingredients by Areto. So we have the file, 7zip archive, you have to um, unzip it in order to use it. Now you're going to have the data folder, you just go ahead, and select the textures, copy them, and put them into the game into the data portal, the Elder Scrolls 5 Skyrim the Elder Scrolls 5 Skyrim data go ahead do this for all the next conflicts Conf I have conflicts, you won't, because I already installed it before I'm doing it all over now in order to delete the mod, you'll have to go ahead and select all of this all of these files in your Skyrim 5 data find them and delete them manually, or just go ahead and delete all of them <laughs> and just reinstall the game, whatever you want so, in order to delete it without in order to delete it without much of a fuss and hurt other mods, you'll have to find which files are specifically there. And the names are actually self-explanatory, so if you don't like parts, if you don't like the pie, if you don't like venison meat, just go ahead to the, where is it, textures, clutter, go select ingredients, and just remove them, okay? Remove the pie, remove the venison. Very simple, just go ahead and delete them. Once you delete them, you're going to have all the rest of the mod. They, they're not dependent on each other, so you can have parts of the mod easily. For example, you can just go ahead and replace the... Where is that? The actor, the chicken? You can just replace the chicken texture, and that's it. For me, that would be more than enough, but it depends on what you want. It's very easy to set up. Now, then you go to the Skyrim launcher, and as there's no, um, there's no ESP file, you're not going to have to select anything right here. You just go ahead and play the game. Now I'm going to show you how it works in the game. Very nice. Now we're just gonna go ahead and see how it looks in the game. You will be able to see the new textures for food and ingredients right outside of the shops. You don't have to go ahead and do this, but just for the sake of the mod, I'm just gonna go ahead and show you in very many details. Again, you're not gonna see most of the times these things like this. Most of the times you will see them lying somewhere, for example, you know, something like this. Very beautiful meat texture. Again, I have to say, as a work in progress, this mod uh, can't be ultimately recommended 100% but there's some very beautiful parts of the mod which I, which I recommend to you it, for me personally that's that would be the chicken and the meat textures they're unbelievably beautiful hair is also very very good just very beautiful textures fried potatoes is very beautiful texture potato itself is very nice as well so you can just go ahead and selectively put the files you would like to have Red apple is much more beautiful than green apple, I would have to admit. And so on, there's this little little thing, uh, things which you will have to pay attention to when you're installing this mod because not whole mod would uh, I would be able to recommend it. Let's just go ahead and see. That's the rabbit. Let's just go ahead and harvest some meat from rabbit. Perfect. Now open the food. So we have rabbit leg. Notice how the rabbit itself the texture is a little bit different. He has the eye done now in very beautiful fur. 
very nice. The fishes are also very nice, very beautiful compared to the vanilla. Again, that would be it for the uh, high quality, high quality food and ingredients by Irato. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you will. You know, I hope it helps you decide whether to download it or not. As always, I do not own the any rights for this mod. It's all the work of Irato, not mine. I just presented to you here, and I own the rights for this video. It's very simple. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for. Uh, watching <laughs> but also say if you liked it go ahead like subscribe and share with your friends go ahead also follow the links in the description to the mod and to the author and endorse the author if you like the mod thank you very much and have a great day